At this year's US Open, Andy Murray has secured qualification for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in London for a fifth consecutive season. His best showing is his two semi-finals in 2008 and 2010. So Andy will be hoping to go one step further this year in front of his home fans. Qualification means everything. One of the goals I think all of the players have um, at the beginning of the year the thing that's rare about it is that, you know, it's not open to everybody. Um, there's only the top eight players that can go. Um, and yeah, I've been lucky to qualify for it a, a few times and, you know, having it in London now, it's been, I mean, um, it's an unbelievable event. London provides the perfect backdrop for off-court events around the city. Sell-out crowds generate a superb atmosphere on court. And Murray is determined to be at his best this year after being forced to retire early in 2011. You know, last year, you know, I was a bit unfortunate. I got injured just before the tournament. Um, but, one, I mean, the two years previous, I mean, I played some, some of my best tennis there. Um, I've had some, some great matches. I had a tough loss to, to Rafa there. It was one of the best matches I've, I've played in. And, um, yeah, the crowd get right into it. Um, it's quite a sort of dramatic a atmosphere. They, they build the matches up really, really well, and um, yeah, it's, it's really enjoyable to play. In his four appearances at the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals, Andy Murray has provided fans with some of the tournament's finest moments in recent years. Two matches in particular stand out. When I won against Roger in, um, in Shanghai, that was that was my biggest win in the in the tour finals. Um, it was like set, seven five in the third maybe, and you know I won it on like my ninth match point or something. It was really long uh, long match. Um, I'd say that for me personally was was the, the, the biggest win I've had in the finals. But yeah, also yeah the match with Rafa, even though I lost as well, that was that was a great match, and um, I think it maybe got both the best match of the year, um, maybe in the top couple. So. That was, that was a fun one to be involved in. For some, the pressure of playing at a home tournament can be overwhelming. However, after a hugely successful summer in the country's capital already this year, pressure is something Murray knows how to deal with all too well. Because of Wimbledon most years, you know, fairly used to, to the, the pressure. Um, and I just try and go about it the, the same way as I do there. You, you know, don't get too wrapped up in what's going on off the court. You know, you just try and make sure you, you're focused on, on your job. You know, you don't watch too much TV, you read the newspapers too much. You just go about your business, get all your practices done and try and stay as focused as possible and use the, the crowd to your advantage. So another place is booked for this year's season finale. Who will be the next to join Andy Murray as the race to London continues?